Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you, and this time I'm going to show you how you can delete or edit your passwords using Microsoft Edge. I did a video previously on how to do this with Google Chrome, but some of you may be using Microsoft Edge and you have passwords that may be saved in there to websites that are incorrect or incomplete. Maybe it's got the password but not the username or the username and not the password or some combination of that where you need to edit it or delete it and just start over again and save a new fresh password. So we're gonna jump right into it here. So we're in edge right now we're going to go up to the top right corner you got the three dots and go down to settings once you're in here we just scroll down and at the very bottom you'll see passwords when you click into that you should see a list of all your saved passwords i got three different websites here with passwords saved in each one of them so if I want to look at this first one, for example, I can click in there. But uh, if you're looking for a specific site and you have a crazy long list and it's hard to search through, you could just go into search passwords and type in part of the name and I'm looking for Gmail, I found Gmail. Now I can click into that. But I'm gonna hit the X to clear the search and I can see all my passwords. So that's one way to find it. Once you click into it, the one that you want to delete or edit, it asks you to enter in your Windows password. So it may say PIN or password, but it's your PIN or password that you use to get into the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and put mine in. Once you put your password in there, then it gives you all the detail. So you'll see what your username is which in this case is for Gmail, so I got a fake Gmail address in here. And then you got your password, which is all uh, dots showing, and the website that we're going to. So if we want to edit it, we can edit. If you want to just delete this whole thing and start fresh again, you can just hit delete. And when you go back to gmail.com, then it will give you the opportunity to save it again. If you want to simply see what the password is, there's a little eye here to show the password. So you can click on it and it shows you what your password is. So you can hit this button here to copy the password if you want. It goes into your clipboard and then you can paste it somewhere else on the computer. If you hit the eye again with the crossover, then it hides your password. So this here is uh, allowing you to edit. So if you go into edit, now you can go in here again you have the eye to show what you have currently if you're working with the dots you could just delete everything but if you put the eye in there then you can maybe see you might have a symbol or something in there that you want to add and you could even make notes here as well and even choosing a category if you wanted to and then just hit done that's in here we can see the test and that's basically it you can just X out of this window and that's it it's saved uh, you would go back to passwords list if you want to see them all and work on another one and it'll be the exact same thing you have the option to view what the passwords are and uh, edit anything or if this is for Microsoft so if I just hit delete you can see it takes us back to the list and it's gone so there's no opportunity to uh, cancel that if you hit delete by accident it's too late it doesn't ask you if you're sure you want to delete it it's just gone so not a huge deal you can just go back to that website and save your password again you can even go in here to add password if you want to manually add uh, a website in so I'm gonna just do that and put Microsoft back in here again and I'm just gonna put whatever and hit save and it's in here so now you know how to add edit delete any save passwords in Microsoft Edge and that's it for this tutorial. I hope you did find it helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Even better, give it a super thanks. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.